Hey guys, Lockley here, and finally we're done for we are done with tutorial videos for some time, uh, and this is usual PvP video, but this time I'll try to commence it along the way. Uh, so we found these guys in wormhole, like two steps away from our home, and they had some action in the system when we found them. Uh, so we were not really baiting them. I just dropped the on my tempest. It's tier two fleet, tier two feet tempest, and I have no implants in my head, so it's pretty cheap, uh, about three hundred millions. And uh, here two treasures. They notice me, and they both get going to tackle me. I'm shooting first one. It's fairly easy because he, it seems he just hit approach, and on approach I track them pretty well, and when it's close it just gets shot. Second treasure was uh, more lucky, I guess. So he gets close, gets scrammed, adept, and droplet, and after that I just killed him with drones. By the way, while I was shooting them, uh, some one of them just uh, told me in local that they know my videos and love them. And it's quite funny because usually people tell me that they love my videos after I get killed by them and blocked by them. And this time it's quite different and it's nice. So, second trash uh, get trashed. And it's now only stilet on me. And you can notice one mistake I have made in this fight. Oh, you can notice a lot of mistakes. But at the moment there's one mistake, I'll explain a bit later. And stilet are holding me, I'm waiting for escalation. Let's see what happens next. So right now. One of my corpmates told me that uh, our enemy undocked Megatron. And here is explanation what I did wrong. Stiletta is on me on a very low orbit, so he can scram me. And I didn't do anything to get him away. I could nail him, I could shot him, I could annoy him with drones, and I could send him to high orbit so he will, would steal disrupt me, but would not scram me. And when I know that Megatron is undocked, I could hit a micro up drive and get a bit away, so Megatron does not land on my head. But, unfortunately, I did not think about it, and when I started to shoot Stiletta, Megatron was already in warp, and I could not um, activate my micro up drive, so Megatron will land directly on my head. Megatron is landing in 10 kilometers, so he can scrum me right away. And my corp mates just telling me that they're not going to help me really fast, because they was expecting me to get something, to bait something, but not so fast. So they were not ready, and they have to fly like two wormholes to reach this place. So I get a bit of hits from Megatron and also Tempest and Brutix get undocked. So it will be quite a lot of damage and my Tempest is not really tanky. And like a cherry on the top of my problems is Saber on my head and I instantly try to hit Saber because I would really like to get back in this fight on another ship when I get killed, but it's not so fast. So Brutix starting damaging me, and as you can see I'm not really tanking it. But as long as I have ancillary, I may tank a bit. And finally I get rid of Saber, and now my 
main goal is to live long enough uh, for bubble to disappear. So I can save my pod. It's empty pod, but I don't. I do not want to fly back from Jita. But Tempest lands on me, and it lands on me almost on my head because it warped before Saber used probe, and I get neutralized and get a lot of damage, and forgetting to uh, recharge my battery because. Uh, with all this armor in cargo, I do not have space in cargo to have battery for fast recharge, so I have to drag it manually. And I'm getting killed. Well, it was a good enough life for Tier 2 Tempest, and I really hope that I'll get away in capsule, but I'm in bubble. Um, I'm still not tackled, but bubble is still up, and I'm not sure what should I should do. But finally, I get tackled by Megatron, and I get killed by Megatron. So now I have to fly like a lot from Jita, and but like luckily I have I know where I can enter my home hole, so I will fly fast from Jita. While Musica's Drakavak that is landing and Hyperion from TK will entertain our enemies, I'll get to fly a bit. Okay, round two. I'm getting in in Megatron. It's still. Fit, uh, and it's still tier 2 fit without implants in head and I guess that was a mistake, I should use a clapen but I was so focused on easier easier ships to be more vulnerable I guess uh, doesn't matter, I land almost on Praxis and Praxis is fat and kind of easy to kill target so if it's closed, I'm trying to focus it, and um, you can see that grid is filled with Hyperion Hurricane, and enemy Hyperion is getting close to me, and it seems that enemy Hyperion does not have prop model. So if I just moved away, I maybe could kind of kite it uh, to reduce damage a bit, maybe. But it didn't happen, I got scrammed, I didn't notice Hyperion speed, so now I'm full, ta I'm full tackled, and also Hyperion is damaging pretty good, uh, much better than Praxis. But we are trying to get kill of squishy Praxis, and my copmates are getting closer to assist me. Also I send my drones to smaller targets, so Mm, uh, treasures and other small targets does not feel so comfortable in grid. I do my best to hold my tank and Praxis is almost dead. So I have some hope that I will survive a bit. One of the worst thing in this situation is that enemy Hyperion does know how to fly Hyperion. He just hit keep, in, keep it range and he uh, tracking me perfectly and deliver all his damage. So it feel very problematic, but now without Praxis I should be fine. We are also trying to focus small targets with Drakovac. So Drakovac gets the treasures and uh, after that we switch to Hurricane. Because it's a bit more squishy target, we can kill it faster than Hyperion. It's Hyperion is still main damage source, but it's faster to kill Hurricane.
I started to assist uh, Dracovac with drones to kill small targets and it seems that Hyperion stopped overheating on me because its uh, damage gets lesser, gets smaller uh, so I have easier time tanking him but we are still waiting for some escalation and also I am trying to drop on myself some cap boosters because I am out of them And here happens another another mistake from me, because I see that Hyperion is almost dead and I call to hold it, because it's the best target we have and we don't tackle anything else, so I decided that we need to hold it, I stop damage. And that was actually a bad idea, because right in some like 1-2 minutes, I, oh, I also send jump drones to Hyperion because it still have damage, so I try to reduce it as much as I can. But they keep popping in this hurricane, and actually we can kill Hyperion now. But a bit of a desync happens between me and other members because they decided that we are not breaking Hyperion tank and switch it to Hurricane and I was trying to finish Hyperion because it's main damage source and it really ruins my life but it didn't happen and Greta is getting bigger and bigger and I'm really not tanking it and another one by the dust but it's not lost my ship and this time I don't have bubble on me, so I'm going to get back to Citadel and change again. Okay, third time I'm returning to this grid. All this time my friends entertained uh, enemies. Uh, TK Hyperion get killed. Now it's lighting Hyperion in grid. And you can see that there's a lot of wrecks, and I'm gonna ignore them, right? Not not now, but some sometime later. And I'm trying to kite. I'm trying to kite on Drakavak, and I'm really bad kiter. I landed on 30 kilometers, but I get instantly tackled. I did not push my up drive, and in quite few moments, almost all grid will turn on me. Also, I lost my Magus, I lost my Nereus that I used to drop batteries on a friendly Hyperion. And now you can see that all grids switching to me, it's like they don't like me. Oh, they like me a lot, I don't know. And also, this is terrible track outfit because, well, because it's terrible. It did, it should have died like half year ago, but it was not dying and I was too lazy to refit it, so it's still alive. And you can see that if you have Dracovac with one cap booster, you want to use cap booster as long as you can fit capacitor with it. Uh, so it should be used earlier, but I failed to do so, but still it wouldn't help me. Because as you can see, it's not caps that's my problem, but it's tank. It's tank and that is all grid on me. So, third ship. Okay. It's Le Shark time. 
it's actively shock and it's not like I get mad and get on the shock it's just I'm out of ships I ex how it's expanded expanded I lost all my tier 1 fools and all I have is actively shock and passively shock so I get an actively shock and trying to save TK Megatron Navisha and we have uh, in grid we have we had two augurs but one get killed like 20 seconds ago I land on grid and I'm instantly starting to help to clearing hurricanes on Megatron they are pretty easy target and they are almost at zero on us so I have no problem tackling them and also I repair Megatron so he survives in this grid so it's this, at this moment we are pretty stable I would say I also try to lock other small targets and as you can see it sets three tornadoes on like 50 kilometers and they have quite damage they quite annoying damage and most of us can do nothing against them uh, it's only me that can shoot like 65 kilometers with meson but megatron does not hit them so at this moment we just let them be and we keep clearing hurricanes but keep tornado in mind After this hurricane get cleared, I will switch to Tornada and I also try to save Musica's Algor because it does not have paired Algor, so I am only one who can repair him. Tornado is pretty squishy, so I can get rid of them easily if they do not warp off, if they do not react fast enough. I saved Augur, so it seems that we're gonna win this round. Also, I forgot to mention that this Lishak is first my ship with implants, so I have mid-grade Asclepian without Omega, and we, we won, we won this grid. I almost think about getting tractor units here, but not so sure that it's time for this. Well, let's see what happens next. We cleared small target targets. We cleared treasures uh, and rest of that, but three Megatrons undocked, so it's round four or five or four. I don't know. For me, it's well, there was a lot of rounds because I was dying always. Megatrons land on like 15, and we decided just to move to them because we not really care. We want to kill them. We are starting with Hurricane because it's easiest target for us at the moment. Also I bump TK because I am bad at controlling. But now we're gonna stabilize, stabilize and kill Hurricane. I also eat Paralance Booster because I thought that I need more damage. There's only two of us in this grid. And Hurricane gets cleared pretty fast. And at some moments they starting to focus Augur. I have no idea why Augur was so close, but it seems all Megatrons got him locked, all Megatrons got him grappled, and all Megatrons got him scrummed. 
I tried to repair it, but 3 Megatrons is a lot of DPS, so I'm just uh, buying us a bit of time trying to save it. But we are focusing another Megatron, and we hope to survive this even without our girl. We lost our girl, we are killed one Megatron. I'm trying to drop additional batteries on me because oh, additional batteries on TK. I'm trying to wrap him also, but as you can see, Hurricane, additional Hurricane, and Tornado in grid. And um, we have really little problems tanking this, but still feeling pretty good, I would say. You also may notice that there is another Lishak in directional scanner. It's our Lishak, but we are holding it because I don't feel like we should drop Lishak on this, because it's tier 1 still. But that's annoying tornadoes, and we are still getting rid of hurricanes. Okay, this moment should happen sometime. They decided to focus me. And it's really terrible because I have no remote reps that I can get and I should keep tanking on myself and my tank is a little worse than Megatron tank. Also I ask secondly Shark to drop on Thanados so he can get rid of them and uh, I am trying to tank, I'm trying to survive. So second Lushak arrived and I'm still tanking. He will get rid of Tornadas and the rest of Grid whopping away. So it's another round for us I guess. Now it's time to repair and to get new batteries. We are still trying to wait. We are still gonna wait for another round because it's fun. So here comes next round. I really like this guy because it's really funny when you can get round after round after after round without looking for new targets because you have fun here. So it's Megatron, Tornado, another Tornado, Hurricane, Drake, and they are like 30 kilometers away from us, and we are gonna just get close to them on micro drives and again we are clearing t hurricanes first but as you can see Balgon landed on Ingrid and Balgon is really a problem because he gonna turn off another he gonna turn off reps on TK and then he gonna turn off disintegrator on lightning the shock 
So we have to, after we clear this hurricane, our first target will be Balgon, because if we do not get rid of, the, rid of him, it's basically over for us. And um, we both slash arcs trying to wrap Megatron, but it does not really hold. I'm starting to shoot Balgon, trying to hit my reps on Megatron. And hope it will hold. And it's minus minus TK. We are three now. It's our girl. Uh, Lightning Leshock and me. A Lightning Leshock is permanently gets dry on Valgon, so he cannot really shoot. And I am trying my best to get rid of Valgon. And here is another mistake: I am not scrumming it because I could do it because it's close enough for me for overhead scrum. But I am too focused on wrapping Lightning and too focused on killing this Valgon. So in quite a few seconds he'll just he'll just walk away. And ball going to walk away and right now I'm telling Lightning that it's gonna be fine because Well it's not gonna be fine. But I tried, I tried, I hope that without Balgon we could stay. So it's minus lightning and I'm done because I'm not tanking this. And it's the end of another round for us. After this, I basically uh, we get grid cleared, so our enemies get grid under control and we all was dead, was mov moving back to home hole. So after all this fight I decided that I just asked directly guys if they want like, another round. So I messaged them and they said, yeah, sure. Uh, they asked if it should be a formal round, like they sh uh, we should have comparable fleets and rest of it. But I just told that we should bring anything you bring anything you want. Just do your best. So we are gonna sit on passive Leshocks in next round and gonna see what they bring. We are staying on our home hole. It's not our home hole, but it, this leads to our home at 50, so no one gets into a wormhole if he is damaged. And uh, guys, warping 50 on us, they know where we stay, so they choose proper re rewarp. And they are 50 on us, and we just charge to them. They decided to get on Battle Cruiser format. And as you can see, it seems they does not have Logi. And without Logi ships, I don't know what's happening, but we're gonna try to kill it, of course. First target was Tornado, it's pretty thin, so it's easy to kill. And after this, it's just broadcasts and focus, broadcasts and focus.
and a little local drama. He was holding on, he was waiting for someone to save him. They were coming. Forgive us, Nosis. And another round gonna start, and we see again that it's Battle Cruises format again. It's kind of strange because it didn't work before, so why they used again? But after another refresh, we see that it's battleships plus battle cruisers, and that's quite a lot of battleships, so they will have pretty decent dip DPS. We are starting to get rid of Drakes because, well, it's thinner targets. We are not gonna kill battleships first. And uh, as you can see again, they does not have logic. So the only chance of winning this fight is getting us killed, getting us alpha, alpha striked, I guess. And they trying to kill TK, but we're wrapping him, and it seems that our tank holding. It's easy now to be smart, but I did not think about this when we fought. Uh, after t killing TK, after trying to kill TK, they decided to switch target, and it's Musica. And we are trying to hold him. But some why he does not hold so well, and remember that we do not have damage control. So our hull is basically non-existent. And he's gone. That was quite a scary moment, because I thought that our tank not holding this. And they have Tempests with a lot of Neots. But after another target switch, it seems that all was fine. I mean, they focus on me now, and I am holding pretty good. I just get reps, and all fine. So it seems that it was, was, it was some kind of anomaly with Musica. I don't know. And they keep switching targets, but they do not have a DPS to break us. Uh, we are also smart bombing, we are smart bombing our drones too, but do not really care about it. Because, well, who cares about drones on the shark? And after some time they decided to up away, and we waited for them to get another round.
And for another round they brought Tonalas. And that was quite strange choice because I was sure that we're gonna see some decent armor fleet like the Sharks, Guardians and etc. But it's Tonadas on 50 and obvious targets for them of the target for them is Musica because he looks you know, looks most squishy of us and I command free fire on Tonadas because they are pretty thin and we are starting to wrapping Musica before he gets first hits because it's outy and he or you can see that he is almost on full but not on full and we are holding him and Tonadas getting killed we actually have quite like th two or three another tries of Tanadas to, to break us, but none of them succeeds. I had a chat with these guys after this, and I asked why they did not brought a logi, why they didn't brought proper fleet, and get pretty strange answer. <laughs> I mean, it's a logical answer, but uh, I you do not often mean you don't do not often meet this behavior. Uh, guys was just thinking that there's more of them than us. So they do not bring the hardest hit just because they do not want to blow us. <laughs> it's quite, I mean, it's really, it's very nice of them and I'm not laughing about at them, but I, I asked them in local, just like, show show me what you got, show me what else you got. We, uh, uh, we are dominating now, and I want to see what you can, what else you can bring. But they just said that it's the soul for night, thank you for fighting, good, good fight, and we just separated. We, are, we just get home, and it's over. Okay, guys, last thing I want to say is... If this video gets uh, my personal record on likes is 300 on this channel. And if this video gets more than 400 before next Friday, you will get two videos next week. And if it's not, well, then one. But anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to me. I hope that was entertaining enough. Do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to comment. And great, great thanks to guys that supporting me on Patreon. Uh, it's really generous of you. Thank you. And goodbye all. Fly dangerous.